previously on King's Customs. Today we're going to be taking a 2016 GMC half ton and turning it into a King's Custom Edition. Right out of the box, a chrome bug deflector. Comes really well wrapped in uh, plastic. Now that we got all these grill inserts uh, prepped and ready to go on the vehicle, we can step over here where I already started to do this one. You can see how the piece goes in between there and hooks onto the, the cross parts in between the grill. And that is how you install the powder on the screen thread. Next we're going to be installing these chrome vent visors. Again, they are a two-sided taped accessory, so we have to make sure the truck is clean. These things come with a little alcohol prep pad. Make sure the vehicle is clean, and then this will definitely help the tape stick. With a two-sided tape accessory, you really only get one shot at installing it. So when you put it on, you have to make sure that this line is the same on side to side. You can just eyeball it, but sometimes running a tape line is the better way to do it. Now as long as you keep the edge of the vent visor with the tape, it should come out 100% straight. Also when you peel off the tape, just peel off the little pieces on the end and then just one little tab of the big piece on one side. That way, if you didn't get it 100% the first time, you may be able to salvage it still. Just stick your hands down. Pull off the tape, just stick it down as you go. I carried on the tape line from the back door to the front door so that we can line up the back part of the, the vent visor. And then the front part is just going to sit basically flush with here. So you might have to do a little bit of eyeballing on this one, but it'll basically fall into place. Again, just make sure this gap right here is about the same distance the entire way. Now we just got to follow the same procedure for the other side. Once you got this side all stuck down too, that is how you install window vent visors. Before we start assembling the box rails to install into the truck, there's a couple little things that we have to do to the truck box. And that is how you install a lowrider truck seat cover. 